All right, let's take a look at what I have here in my calculator. I have uh, the square root of two, okay, and I just press enter, and I have this long decimal number, okay? Now, uh, let me just first off just let you know that this is what we call a third, okay? So what, what, is, what is a third? Okay, first, first of all, a third is usually associated with my square root symbol, okay? And uh, another thing is, uh, if you have a look at after my decimal place, okay, it goes on, on and on, okay? It goes on endlessly with no specific pattern, okay? Then that is what we call a third. Anything outside of that we call not a third, okay? So we'll have a look at some more examples so that we can uh, understand what we're talking about. Okay, let's have a look at this. We have the square root of four, and it just simply gives me two, okay? So again, it's not endless like this. So if it's simply uh, just a number, then this is not a third, okay? So, okay, we'll try and start to get the hang of this. Have a look at the next one. We have the square root of four over nine, okay? So we have a fraction here, okay? So what was the third again? It has to be endless with no specific pattern, then it's a third. Oh, we put it into our calculator. We get 0 0.6666, so on, so on, but it ends with a seven. So, okay, we can see it's endless, but does it have a specific pattern or not? Now, in, uh, in actuality, this is not a third because it actually does have a specific pattern, okay? Even though it does end with a seven, the reason why it's doing that is because your calculator can't fit um, all these sixes all the way, okay? It just goes on 0 0.66, okay, forever. But they just cut it off here and they just rounded it up. That's why it's a seven, okay? But in actual fact, um, this is not a third because although it's endless, it, doesn't, it has a specific pattern. So this is not a third, okay? So let's, let's take a look up here. We have the square root of three. Okay, now let's have a look at our two conditions again. Is it endless? Yeah, it looks pretty endless to me. And it doesn't really have a specific pattern. Okay, so it's just a bunch of random numbers. Then we call this a third. So the square root of three is a third. Okay, we'll take a look at a couple more. So we have again another fraction. The square root of 25 over four. Okay, we put in a calculator and we just get 2.5. Oh, just 2.5, okay, so it's not endless. So again, this is not a third. Okay, so the square root of uh, 25 divided by four is not a third. Okay, let's take it one more. We have the square root of four over 121. Okay, now if you put into a calculator, what do we get? 0 0.1818181818, okay? Now it looks, okay, first of all, it's endless. Okay, let's keep going, okay, but if we have a look at it, it does have a specific pattern, yeah? So one, eight, one, eight, one, eight. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't um, take those two conditions. It's endless, but it has a pattern. So it's not a third. This one is not a third. Okay, if it has a pattern, it's not a third. Okay, so these are a bunch of examples of the outcomes that we could get, okay? So just keep in mind what a third is, okay? And we'll just try and dive into some of more questions. Okay, so let's have a look at question one. State whether the square root of five is a third. So I think the first thing we should do is put into our calculator. Okay, so here's my calculator. Okay, what is our number? We get 2.236, blah, 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 blah. So it's endless, okay, it's going on forever. And it's uh, non-recurring, meaning it doesn't have a specific pattern. So this one does classify as a third. Okay, so the square root of five is a third. Okay, I hope, you, I hope you're getting the hang of this. We'll move on to question two. We have state whether square root of 16 is a third. So let's just put it into our calculator. What do we get? Oh, we just get four. And of course, 16 is a square number, so it just comes out cleanly as four. Okay, so this one is not a third. Okay, let's have a look at the next question. State whether the square root of 1.44 is a third. Now, it does seem like it's not going to come out nicely, but we'll just put it into our calculator. We actually, okay, we actually just get 1.2. So again, it's not even endless. If it's just, if it's just, you know, some statute number, then it's not endless at all. So this one is not a third. Yes? We'll have a look at the next question here. We have state whether the square root of 27 is a third. First thing we should do is just put it into our calculator. Okay, and we have this long decimal number. Okay, so let's think about it. Okay, yes, it's endless. Okay, it's going on forever. Now, is it non-recurring? In other words, does it have a specific pattern? 
No, it doesn't look like it has a specific pattern. So this one, we can say it's a third. Okay, so the square root of 27 is a third. Okay, because it's complying to those two conditions. Okay, now let's have a look at this one. We have the square root of 4 over 9. Okay, we have some sort of fraction. Now let's just put it into our calculator. Okay, now we have something similar like this before, right? 0 0.66666 and it ends with a 7. So, okay, well it's endless, but does it have a specific pattern or not? Okay, now that 7 is confusing. Now if I just want to say it again, it's because it's just 0 0.666 all the way, okay, but they can't fit all the numbers, so they're just rounding it up at this point to a 7. Okay, so to summarize, yes, this is endless and it does have a specific pattern. So this is not a third. Okay, so the square root of 4 over 9 is not a third. Okay, so this is how uh, we kind of understand if, uh, if, even if we're given a square root, is it a third or is it not a third? Okay, it's not always a third. Okay, so how do we know? We just put it into our calculator, okay, and see if it, again, does it go on forever? And if it does, does it have a specific pattern or not? Okay, so if it doesn't have a specific pattern, then it is uh, a third. Okay.